because we are Maximum Drive and we are huge! say maximum drive I knew you could welcome we've got nine competitors here about the same age as you about the same size the only difference is I grabbed them right out of their seat in television land and put them right here on the track it's gonna be fun helping me out on maximum drive say hi to Brian Vermeer give him a big wave he sees you so does Mercedes Cologne she's here too hey are you ready let's get busy this is maximum drive Let's start big today. For the Bulls, Don Emler, riding in the six-wheel floor wagon. That's right, why not? Let's do the Argo. Here's Jonathan Brooks for the Wolves. They'll race four times around the track. The Python, Brian Harmeo. They call him Flying Brian. The engines are running, the Argos are ready, I'm ready, are you ready? Three times around the track, it's gonna get really dirty. Jonathan Brooks, Brian Harmeo, Donnie Emler. Those are our three competitors. Way around the backside, Donnie Emler at Hairpin Alley. Takes the lead with a tight turn. Swings it on a 360 and he emerges the leader. In third place is Jonathan Brooks of the Wolves. Brian Jaramillo is in second. Emler leads as he hits the gator pit. And he's going to get a mud noogie right there from Brian Jaramillo. Take that. We're ready to complete lap number one. Don Ambler leads it for the Bulls. Number two is Brian Jaramillo of the Pythons. And there comes Jonathan Brooks of the Wolves. Back around the hairpin. No problem so far for Don Ambler. He is racing through. Right through the bog and onto the gator pit. And the Pythons, Brian Jaramillo in the two spot with Jonathan Brooks, Johnny Brooks of the Wolves in third place. It's big, it's bad, it's bulky. It's an Argo. And it looks like a lot of fun. One lap to go. You know what, I'm gonna have to call this from inside the Argo one of these times. This looks like too much fun. Here comes Don Boo. Donnie Ambler leading, tight turn at the hairpin, down the runway, over to the bog. He's going to get money one more time. It's a dirty job, but he wanted to do it. Over to the gator pit. There is no challenge so far. If Ambler can emerge, if he can emerge, okay, he will win this race. A little scary there. Don Ambler wins it for the Bulls. Now the fight for second. It was Brian Jaramillo. He has stalled out. His gears were stripped. Jonathan Brooks is going to pass him by. Jonathan Brooks passes him by. Brooks was in third place throughout the race. And guess what happened here? Flying Brian Armijo is more like dying. Brian, his Argos died in the pit. And you can see the Pythons come up with zero. Bulls have three, and the Bulls win it with five. Don Emler blasted through the muck and the mud to take first. Brian Vermeer is down there with a messy, messy Donnie Emler. Ah, uh, it may be a mess, Joe, but we're loving it, man. We're loving it. And I got to ask you this. What's it like being in charge of this huge vehicle, the six-wheeled war wagon? Well, I'm really light, and I like, I like being in control of it. It's fun. It's pretty slippery. At any point, you don't feel like you're in control? Uh, when I'm in the mud. Ah, uh, but that's when you have the most fun. After one event, Bulls 5, Wolves 3, Pythons... Zero. Hey, here we go. The XR80s, our fastest bikes, are out on the course. The action is right down there at the starting line. We have the long course. Let's focus in on the one with the long hair. Well, Quinn does have long hair, too. I'll get to the other one in a minute. Quinn Brumball of the Wolves, Keith Lathendritz of the Pythons. Now, where's our competitor with that long golden hair? Ah, there she is, Jasmine Reed. Look at her. She smiles, but she's fiery. Quiet, sweet Jasmine Reed is out to bury the boys. Watch her in lane number one on her XR. In fact, Jasmine does have the lead. Jasmine 
Griffin Reed as the Wolves and Pythons fall. Quinn Brum, ball hands Keith LeTendron. Fuck right there after turn number one. Jasmine Reed retains the lead. I don't know what it is, but Brum ball and LeTendron are getting in the way of each other. And that gives Jasmine Reed the open territory. The Bulls Reed has the lead down the runway and heading for Hairpin Alley. She'll cut it and cut it wide. Keith LeTendron has just gone down at Hairpin Alley. He was flipped. He'll pick up the bike and try to continue on. Meantime, Quinn Brumball is running in second place. One lap finished. Jasmine Reed has the lead at the horseshoe. Quinn Brumball right behind her. Lieutenant's back on his bike. He's got a lot of making up to do. Jasmine Reed, our Lone Ranger, down the runway. A lap and a half under her belt. Pin has been the downfall of a lot of competitors. It's a tough territory out there. Loose ground, tight turn. Jasmine Reed, she's got two laps with two to go. She is leading Quinn Brown Ball of the Wolves. Keith Latendra's a distant third as she's spilled in Hairpin Alley. And look at Brown Ball, right on top of Reed. Reed down the slope, trying to keep her distance. Don't look back, he's right behind you. They'll hit the runway with Reed and Brown Ball. Two. Don't blink, it's that close. Hairpin Alley, here they come. Now to the chicane. Jasmine Reed leading for the third lap. One more to go. Jasmine Reed at the first turn. Takes it clean. Brumball right behind her, tries to go to the inside. Can't get it at the elbow. To the horseshoe. Jasmine's walking it out. Offensive and defensive. Jasmine Reed, a complete game plan right now. Over to the back 90. 90 feet of bad road. She said she was looking to bury the boys, and here's the shovel that did it, Joe. Here's the <laughs> shovel that did it. Here, hold on to this. Was there any point in time, Jasmine, that you felt you couldn't keep up the pace you were going? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I got really tired at the end. At the end? Yeah. For uh, a long course, it really is long, huh? Yeah, it's pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> but then we go over to Quinn. You got buried, pal. Did you signal her? Did you give her wolf whistles? I mean, you are a wolf. Nah. No. No? <laughs> I saw you bump wheels over here on the runway. Yeah. Uh, I just couldn't get past her. She's going too fast. Oh, you know how hard that is for him to admit? Here's your board. Bulls 10, Wolves 6, Pythons 1. Hey, and I'm looking at my schedule. Quinn and Jasper, they'll face each other later on MD. Stick around. Maximum drive. We got two events under our belt. The Bulls have 10, the Wolves 6, and the Pythons, they got a point. They're wanting to score some serious points now because this is the ATV short course. Don't get up, don't leave. It moves real quick. There you see our riders. They're getting into their gear. Chest protectors, shin guards, special boots, gloves, helmets. They all meet or exceed industry standards. The officials from the National Off Highway Vehicle Conservation Council, they're here to keep it safe. Hey, hey, there's Jennifer Brumbaugh, the newest bull. She saw how successful Jasmine was. She wants a shot at the boys. We believe in equal opportunity. Jennifer Brumbaugh's been waiting, waiting, waiting to take on the boys. She's got her chance in the outside lane. The lead belongs to Bobby Archer of the Wolves with Kevin Knight, number two. Jennifer getting the feel of the track. And you can see there that Kevin Knight jams into Bobby Archer. And look who's leading. Look who gets by everybody. Jennifer Brumbaugh, the Bulls. She avoided the little mishap. Kevin Knight is in number two hole. Bobby Archer frustrated in the three spot with the Wolves. So, Jennifer Brumbaugh wanted her shot. She's got it. Now, can she hang on to the first spot? She's got one lap under her belt. There's going to be six laps in this, so the boys have quite a while here to try to catch up. Kevin Knight for the Pythons. Bobby Archer for the Wolves. Trying to catch Jennifer Brumbaugh, who passed them by at the elbow in lap number one. 
I think Jennifer's riding with confidence now. You see her shift her weight quite well as she goes to the back 90. She'll head with a start finish. She's got two laps down with four to go. Jennifer trying to get the, as much as she can out of her ATV. Kevin Knight and Bobby Archer still trailing second and third. Jennifer is 12 years old. She's been riding for half of her life, six years now. Kevin Knight in second place. Bobby Archer right on top of him, but Jennifer Brumbaugh continues to lead. Would this be a surprise? Brumbaugh with three laps to go. Kevin Knight and Bobby Archer have not made up very much time on Jennifer. Jennifer struggling now, though, at the horseshoe, slowing her down quite a bit. And I can see now that both Knight and Archer are coming on top. They're tighter and tighter. Kevin Knight for the Python, Bobby Archer for the Wolves. Jennifer Brumbaugh still leads, still getting enough speed to retain the lead. Two laps to go for Brumbaugh. Ever since one quarter of the way through the first lap, she's been our leader. There you go. Kevin Knight, second place. He's 13 years old. Wants to be a motorcycle mechanic. I wonder if he can fix things now. What's he gonna do? He's coming up on top of Jennifer Brumbaugh. It's Knight and Archer now closing the gap on Brumbaugh. Jennifer has one left to go. One left to hang on to first. Kevin Knight is right behind her. Bobby Archer right behind him. Jennifer Brumbaugh at the elbow. Struggling to keep her balance. She's with two wheels in the air. She's back down and she still has the lead. Brumbaugh leading Knight and Archer. Archer slams into the bell ahead. I'm sorry. I, I got to put some of this sunblock on, man. She burnt everybody on the track, including me. My goodness. Jen, you did a great job. Unbelievable. Now, did you find yourself almost in that mishap there at the elbow at the first lap? Just went around and got there. Yeah, did you really feel the heat? Yeah. Yeah? Especially where? When they crashed. So I just went around and got the lead. And for anyone who says women are bad drivers, I submit this video. Kevin and Bobby locked up. Jennifer safely around for the win. End of story. Bulls with 15. Wolves 9. Pythons 2. That's after three events. Let's move on. Let's ditch the motors. Let's bring out the bikes. This is Bike Champ. All nine of our competitors are out there. The youngest competitors are in front. For the Pythons, you see flying Brian Jaramillo. He'll lead their pack. There's Keith Latendris. Very good with the BMX. And behind him, Kevin Knight. That's the Pythons in lane one. This is the ultimate cumulative event. The team is all that matters. Yes, you could finish first, but if your teammates finish, say, sixth and seventh, you're in bad shape. The Bulls leading off for them, Jennifer Brumbaugh for strong finish. In second place behind her will be Donbo, Donnie Emler, and this is Jasmine Reed. A couple of girls on that Bulls team in the middle lane. And for the Wolves in lane three, there's Johnny Brooks. He's the youngest. Sandwiched in the middle is Bobby Archer and Quinn Brumball behind him. So all your team finishing positions count here. The higher your group finishes, the better your chances. So if these Wolves are going to travel in a pack, they better travel somewhere in the front. Right, Quinn? Two of the three riders of the Wolves are girls. Jasmine Reed, Jennifer Brumball. Plus, you got Jennifer Brumball going against her brother, Quinn Brumball. Mike Jam is underway for the Pythons. The leader is Brian Jaramillo. He leads around here. Pinelli. They'll go around this twice. You want your teammates to finish as high as possible as well. Oh, the Pythons Kevin Knight just wiped out at Hare Pinelli. Tough going there. Jaramillo of the Pythons. Brooks of the Wolves. Emler of the Bulls in that order. And Knight is back on his bike. Here comes Brian Jaramillo. Jonathan Brooks. One and two. Don Emler for the Bulls is in third place. So you've got him spread out. So really the story is who's in fourth. There's two Wolves.
Wolves in fourth and fifth. So the Wolves are bunched together, but one of the Wolves knocks the other one down. That's Bobby Archer and Jonathan Brooks taking a tumble. They're back on their bikes quickly. At the finish, Jaramillo for the Pythons. Emler for the Bulls. Quinn Brumfall of the Wolves third. And now I can see Bobby Archer and Johnny Brooks of the Wolves. That's Archer. Brooks on the outside. They get a third, a fourth, and a sixth. That is the best combined finish despite the wipeout. The Wolves pick up five more points at Bike Jam. And don't look now, but we've got ourselves a big time race for first after four minutes. Bulls 16, Wolves 14, Pythons 5. Stick around for the payoff on MD after this. Welcome back to the Baddest Track on Earth. This is Maximum Drive. Look at this. The race between the Bulls and the Wolves. Either of these two can win it now as we go to our fifth and final event. It's over the mat, and we've got the Argos out. What a wild and wacky version of over the mat we've got for you now. Coming on out to the track, you can see Jonathan Brooks, Brian Harmeal, and yes, Jennifer Brumfaugh. You know the story. The last race Jennifer ran, she won. She beat the battered Bulls. Boys. And these boys are now going to take her on. That's Brooks, Jonathan Brooks of the Wolves, and Brian Jaramillo of the Pythons. They call him Flying Brian with good reason. He can't scoot. They're going after Jennifer. They'll end up with their teammates in the Argos. Brian Jaramillo will join his teammate Keith Latendris of the Pythons. They want to be the spoiler. Jonathan Brooks will join his buddy Quinn Brumbaugh of the Wolves. And Jennifer Brumbaugh will be with Jasmine. I know I'm supposed to be unbiased, but wouldn't it be exciting if the two girls beat the guys? Oh, you know it would. Here we go, over the mat. Let's see what Jennifer Brumbach can do before she hooks up with her teammate, Jasmine Reed. Right now for the Pythons, Brian Jaramillo is the leader. Jonathan Brooks, number two, and Jennifer Brumbach in the three hole. That's right, Jennifer and Jasmine are out there representing the Bulls in this, the final heat, the final run, the final leg of competition on Maximum Drive. Oh, around Hairpin Alley, Jaramillo and Brooks battling it out, one and two. Jennifer Grunbaugh having a tough time at the Hairpin. Now it's time to slow it down just a bit and head into the infield. This is where it gets tighter. First one in is Jaramillo in the purple lane. He'll park it, kickstand down, motor off. Second one in is Jonathan Brooks. Over the mat he goes! Jaramillo will join Keith Latendris of the Pythons. Jonathan Brooks will join Quinn Brumbaugh of the Wolves. And Jennifer Brumbaugh having a tough time now, just now getting over the mat. She will work her way in to the Argo with Jasmine Reed, and they have got a battle on their hands. The Pythons, Latendris and Jaramillo. Latendris is doing the driving, and they are doing the leading. Quinn Brumbaugh, Jonathan Brooks of the Wolves. So the Pythons lead, the Wolves are second, and the Bulls are third, and you know what that means. If the Wolves catch the Pythons, they'll win it all, but they're not gonna do it that way. Hey, if the Pythons win this race, they spoil everything, and the Bulls and Wolves will be tied for first. Keith Latendris of the Pythons is the leader, but Quinn Brembaugh and Jonathan Brooks set their sights on him as they hit the Gator pit. Keith Latendris driving, Brian Jaramillo navigating. Look at Brian looking back and see how close the Wolves are. The Pythons have struggled all day long, but now they're in control of this final race, and that means they're in control of the final standing. Hairpin Alley is the site where Latendris makes the turn. A good move. Stays wide enough to avoid trouble. Now at the chicane, the Pythons are going to be the spoilers here. Dead last going into play. They win over the mat. Well, Joe, the Pythons had to show some pride because you guys were in dead last. Yeah, we wanted to try our hardest because we knew we had to get some points for the overall standings. Back to the girls. Hey, we caught this. Jennifer Brumbaugh struggled on the map, but not getting into the Argo. You're supposed to go around through the door. Jennifer says, hey, I got my own style. Let's go to Mercedes. Come on, who says women can't drive? I did. Hey! Oh. Uh -uh. I think they did a good job. Yes, they did. Yes. High five, girls. Women power, Joe. Sorry. <laughs> hey, 
here's your final. And you know what? The Wolves have to love it. 17-17, they came back and tied the Bulls, and they both win the day on Maximum Drive. Welcome back to Maximum Drive. We have our third place team. It's the Pythons. Let's hear it for them. And this cup belongs not just to the Bulls, not just to the Wolves, but to the Bulls Wolves. Come on, everybody touch it. You all deserve it. Way to go. For Brian Vermeer and Mercedes Cologne. Oh, wait, I didn't. I shouldn't be touching it. I'm Joe Fowler. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.